Hello! Today we're going to be doing a blood ketone test with the new 406 Connect blood glucose and blood ketone meter. We're also going to be pairing it and uploading our results to the new iFlora HM app. Before starting this whole testing procedure, please go ahead and ensure that your hands are fully washed and dried so that we can avoid any kind of contamination. You also want to download the app ahead of time either from the Google Play Store or from the Apple App Store. Okay, next we're going to make sure that we have all of the requ required components for this test. Uh, you're going to need a lancing device with the lancet, or one safety lancet, alcohol swabs, a box of the 406 Connect blood ketone test strips with the included uh, code strip, and we'll talk about that shortly, and then of course your 406 Connect blood ketone meter. Now, it's important to note that the strips do expire, so make sure that before you start your test, you check the expiration date either on the box or on the individually wrapped uh, test strips. You can find that in the back. Also, make sure that with the test strips, you do have the coding strip. This coding strip allows you to code the meter and ensure that whatever the number is on the strip, is on the meter, it's on the testing uh, strips, and that's really important to make sure that everything's accurate. So let's go ahead with the meter turned off, go ahead and insert the coding strip into the test strip slot, and then the code should come up. You see that? And it's 130, and it matches the strip, and it also matches the other test strips. It's 130 right there. Okay, once that's done, you can remove it, put it away, don't throw it away just because you might need it for reference um, at a future time. And then once you remove it, the, the meter will turn off automatically, and that's it. You don't have to code it again as long as you're using the same code strips. Uh, once you finish these strips, then you can, you know, you buy a whole new box, then you can have a whole new strip and you'll have to recode again. Okay? Now let's make sure that we set up our lancing device. Okay, so the lancing device looks like this pen. You want to turn the tip off, you know, pull it off, and then you're going to go ahead and insert the lancet. And you have to make sure that you push all the way through to make sure that it stays. And then remove the safety disc to expose the needle. I don't know if you can see that. Leave that there. And then you're going to put back the cap on the pen and lock it. Now you're going to select the depth of the puncture. So you see, you'll see these little wedges on the tip. You know, the larger the wedge, the larger the blood drop will be when you actually puncture the, the, the testing site. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and cock the device by pulling on the end like that. And then you'll notice that the ejecting button is going to turn orange and that means that it's, it's ready to go for the test. Now, if you're using a safety lancet, then no preparation is needed. You just have to remove the cap. The needle's already preset, and then you do, you do your test. Okay, now, with the meter turned off, let's go ahead and take a test strip, individually wrapped test strip. Let's open that. Let's pull it out gently. Now, this is what the strip looks like. The purple test strip, or it also says KB on it, that's the ketone test strip. It's important to remember that this device also does blood glucose, and so the blood glucose test strips are separate and they look different. So make sure that if you're doing a ketone test, you're using the right test strip. Now take the test strip, and this is the connector end. Go ahead and facing up, insert it into the meter. That will automatically turn it on and then you will see the code that we just uh, put into this when we first started this video. Okay, and then you also see a blinking blood drop on the top, as well as the word ketone, which confirms are you doing a ketone test. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put that down, and let's take the alcohol swab and clean the testing site. Now this isn't necessary if you've just washed your hands and you haven't touched anything, um, you know, you don't have to do this, but if you touched a bunch of things, you know, just want to make sure that you remove any kind of contaminants, any kind of dirt or lotion or whatever it may be. 
then you let it air dry, and then you want to rub the puncture site so that enough blood comes to the surface. Okay, you want to make sure you have enough, otherwise your test is not going to work and, and you'll have to redo it all over again. Okay, now press up and see now it's nice and red. You put the pen and then you press the ejector button. And you see that blood? You want to wipe off the first drop just because it's, it may have some contaminants. So if you want an accurate result, then you want to wipe it off and then use the second uh, blood drop. Then you're going to take the device and the strip and then at an angled position, just put it lightly on the blood drop so that it absorbs. Make sure you don't smear the blood. The device will then count down from 10 to 0. And then at the end of the countdown, the result will show on the screen. Okay. Now at this point, what you want to do is you want to open the app that you downloaded, the I4HM app. And you'll have to do the whole setup of the apps, you know, allowing things and or disallowing them and then agreeing to the terms. You hit OK. Then go to the Settings tab and Bluetooth Smart Meter. Now take your device and you see this little eject button right here? This will eject the test strip. You eject it, push it up, and then it will automatically turn off. But then it will also activate the Bluetooth signal, which will enable your smart device to search for the meter. So you'll see that things will come up. You'll see the name for a 6 Connect. Go ahead and tap on Add and then go back. Then you'll have an option to save. You'll say yes. And then that will automatically start the importing process. So all of your results will start importing in. Import successful. And once done, all of the results you can now review under the data slash KB section of the app. There's your result. Now, before you finish all of this, go ahead and open up the Lansing device again. And then take that safety disc that you removed at the beginning and just press it down to make sure that when you dispose of the needle, it is not open. You know, um, when you dispose of the needle and of the testing strip, you need to make sure that you uh, leave it out of the reach of children or other people or pets because they are con considered biohazardous material and you know it can it can be contagious any kind of disease can spread so just make sure that you get rid of it appropriately and that's it you just finished your very first blood ketone test